Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about answering the question, what is the order of operations? You can get this order of operations worksheet for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Before we do some order of operations practice problems, I want to first go over what exactly the order of operations are. Typically, when we talk about order of operations, we refer to it as PEMDAS. These are the order that you need to perform the operations in a problem. Each one of these stands for something different. So the P stands for parentheses, which would be the parentheses symbols if there are any. The E stands for exponents, so you would do those next. And those are the little numbers up here, like this two right here would be an exponent. The M stands for multiplication. The D stands for division. A stands for addition. And finally, the S stands for subtraction. Now, the only other thing I need to make mention of is that a lot of times people get confused around the M, the D, the A, and the S. This is because it seems like you should always do multiplication first or always do division first. In reality, these two go together and these two go together. You always perform these two from left to right, as well as addition and subtraction from left to right. That means that sometimes you'll do division before you do multiplication and you'll do subtraction before you do addition. It just depends on which one is on the left and which one is on the right in your problem. Let's do the first problem on our order of operations worksheet. Now the first problem we're going to go over is number two, which is three plus five times four. In order to determine which operation you should perform first, you have to remember the order of operations or a PEMDAS as a cheat. For this problem, we don't have any parentheses, so we're going to go past that step. Then we check for exponents. We also don't have any exponents, so we skip that step. The next step will be multiplication and division. If you look, we do have a multiplication part of this problem. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to perform that multiplication part. So we're going to do 5 times 4. So we bring down this 3. So we do 3 plus and then 5 times 4 is 20. So that turns into that. Then the next step is to just perform the last operation. 3 plus 20 is 23, so our final answer has to be 23. Moving on to number 3, showing you guys what is the order of operations. We have negative 2 plus 4 in parentheses times 10. For this problem, we're still going to follow the order of operations. So the first thing we have to check for is parentheses. That's what P means. So if we look, we do have a set of parentheses here. So the first thing we have to do is we have to perform the operations inside of the parentheses. In this case, we have to add negative 2 plus 4. So we're going to add those two together first because they're in the parentheses. When we add negative 2 plus 4, you will get positive 2. Then you bring down the times and the 10. So now we have positive 2 times 10. So our parentheses is done now. We don't have any exponents, so we can cross that off. And we're on to multiplication right here. So we do 2 times 10, and 2 times 10 is 20, and that's going to be our answer. Moving on to our next order of operations example, number 6 gives us 4 minus 10 divided by 5 times 7. So the first thing we have to do is we have to determine which is the first part of the problem that we need to complete according to our order of operations. So we're going to just go down the list. So P stands for parentheses. There are no parentheses, so we can ignore that. We're going to skip it. E stands for exponents. There are no exponents in this one, so we're going to skip it. M stands for multiplication. So we have a multiplication part right here, 5 times 7. And D stands for division. And we have a division component right here. M and D go from left to right. So they are actually the same step and you perform them from left to right. So a very common mistake is to always complete multiplication before division. Now in this problem, the division is on the left of the multiplication symbol, which is on the right. 
that means that you're going to perform this part first and then you're going to do this multiplication part second. That means we're going to do 10 divided by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we're going to simplify that and just make it 2. Then we have to bring down the other parts of the problem. So this 4 comes down, this minus comes down, and this times and 7 come down. For the second step we have 4 minus 2 times 7. Now for this one, 2 times 7 comes first because this is multiplication and we know that multiplication comes before subtraction. So this multiplication is going to get done before this subtraction. So we're going to do 2 times 7 first before we do the subtraction part. So 2 times 7 is 14 and then we bring down this 4 again and this minus sign again. So now we're left with 4 minus 14 and 4 minus 14 is negative 10. So our solution is going to be negative 10. The last order of operations example that we're going to do on our order of operations worksheet is number 8. This problem gives us 2 to the 4th plus 5 times 6 divided by 3 in parentheses. In order to complete these in the correct order, we just follow our order of operations. The first thing we're going to do is anything in parentheses. So if you look, we have a set of parentheses here, which has 6 divided by 3 inside. So the very first thing we need to do is this part. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then you bring the rest of the problem down. So 2 to the 4th comes down here. This plus 5 comes down. And then this multiplication symbol also comes down. The next thing we have to check for is exponents. In this case, we have a term that has an exponent, so that's going to be our second step for this problem. 2 to the 4th power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this would be 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So that's going to be 16. Then we bring down the rest of our problem. Now the problem is 16 plus 5 times 2. The next thing we need to look for is multiplication and division. Right here we have 5 times 2. This multiplication symbol goes before this addition symbol, so we're going to multiply those two together. So 16 comes down plus 5 times 2, and 5 times 2 is 10. And then finally we do 16 plus 10, and that's our last step, and that's going to give us 26 as our final answer. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.